Hey everybody, welcome back. This is James T. Clement coming to you with another reaction video of an independent film that I found on YouTube. Uh, just real quick, a little bit about me. I've been a narrative filmmaker for 38 years and we just completed our most recent film, SCP Keter, which you can see on our channel right now. So I'd like to ask you and encourage you, go check it out. A lot of people have liked it. So give it a look-see. The, the film that we are looking at today is a very, very short one. So I'm running an experiment. I left the AC on. I want to see if that really messes up the sound. And this is going to be a good video to try that on. The video lasts slightly over two minutes. And it's called Haunted Killed by a channel called Scariest Short Films. Uh, so we're going to get into this and we're going to check it out. And we're going to see what's what. With me today on this journey is my little buddy Corvette. So he's going to be sitting on my hip and he's going to be working the mouse for us today. All right, so let's get going here and play. All right. Sorry about that, having a little audio issue there right out of the gate. Okay. So, I'm guessing this was shot overseas. Whoa, well that was a hard cut with the music. Okay. And I don't know who this person is. Or is that the dude from the beginning? I can't remember. I've already forgot. <laughs> I was having audio issues, so I missed that part. He's out of here. All right. Running from a monster, I guess. waiting for something to happen here. Thanks for watching. Okay. Well, who did this? Let's see. Oh! Okay, there were no credits. Nothing I'm about to say is meant to try to hurt anybody's feelings or make somebody feel like crap. Um, this, I don't think, qualifies as a short film, frankly. It's just a collection of shots. Uh, I can't assess the audio because there was none. It was just all music and stuff, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But uh, there's no story here. So I, I like to think that, you know, this is a situation where a couple of guys got together one weekend with some beers or whatever. And they're hanging out and they're like, you know, we're thinking about doing this movie thing. Why don't we take the camera, go out in the yard and kind of start doing some test shots and some stuff like that. <laughs> so I will assume for the time being that that's what this is, is just test footage. Unfortunately, short of the channel name, which is Scariest Short Films, I can't tell you anything about this film as far as who made it. Uh, I mean, if I check their channel, maybe I can find something. Uh, let's see, community... Yeah, there's nothing here, so I don't know who, who the person is that put this together or any of the players that were in it. Uh, guys, like I said, I'm not going to consider this a film. It's not. It's a collection of shots. Um, if you have to look at it as a film, then you, you, could, you could really find yourself in a situation where you're witnessing something that's just an utter fail on all levels. I don't want to put that off on these folks, so I'm going to assume that they're just messing around and trying to get their cinematography going and whatnot. That being said, they got a long way to go. Um, my, my suggestion to them would be invest in some more lights for sure. Uh, it looked like they only had like one light 
and it was just blasting at the characters on the screen. Uh, that is never interesting. I mean, that's lighting that you might see for a TV show, like a game show or something like that. But there's there was nothing dramatic or artistic about really any of this. So for the time being, I will assume, right, that this was just a test shot. And I'm going to check out some other videos on this person's channel, see if I can find out more about them and what they do. Uh, just looking at it right now. Uh, Momo the scariest short film. Yeah, so they've got some other ones. So I'm going to check this out and see where they go with all this. Um, it looks like the other videos are kind of going to be the same situation. So, all right, guys, well, it is what it is. I mean, we did not just watch a short film. We watched a collection of shots. Nothing wrong with that unless you actually are insisting that, no, no, this is a film. Uh, it's not. It's not. Because, guys, if you don't have a story, don't even pull the camera unless you're doing test shots. You have to have a story. That is the number one thing, a story. Even Corvette agrees. Okay, well, all right, so this was a short episode. Like I said, I wanted to see what happened if I left the air conditioner running because it gets hot in here during the summer when I'm trying to shoot one of these lights and stuff that I've got going on. Yeah, and, uh, and by the way, my lighting setup here is exactly like what it looks like they have there. I just got one light over there blasting light this way. I'm not trying to be dramatic or artistic with it. I just want you to be able to see uh, what we're doing here. So, all right. Well, okay. So we'll come back and we'll check out some other videos on this guy's channel, see what they got going for themselves. Maybe at that point we can make an assessment and what we might do if we were in their shoes, that sort of thing. Can't really tell anything off this one particular uh, bit of footage because, like I said, it's, it's not a film. So, all right. Well, that'll do, that'll do it for me. Uh, guys, I want to, again, thank you for watching. My name is James T. Clement. Uh, we just finished our own film, SCP Keter, over on my channel. So please go check that out. Give your thoughts on it. Hopefully you'll like it. Uh, it was done with a lot of love for the fans of the SCP Foundation. So hopefully you guys like it and you enjoy it. And we're working on a part two right now that's going to be really, really over the top and doing some crazy stuff. So uh, I'll get into more of that later. So anyway, for right now... I bid you adieu.